What up guys, welcome back. So we finally have the other session for scroll for the R drop. This actually started a few days ago, but I just wanted to cover a few things in case you guys are kind of confused about it. So the first one that we had was actually without us knowing, and it was by burning some fees on scroll. So back in 2023, I started farming scroll, swapping, trading, doing a lot of things and burning a lot of fees. And by now I actually have a pretty decent amount of marks. Second phase was just bridging some funds to scroll and leaving it there without doing anything. So we had ETH, WETH, USDC, USDT, so on and so forth. And the, the last one that we have, not actually the last one, but the newest one that we have is by providing some liquidity. I actually have a previous video. I think I did it maybe 10 days ago, which I said that I was changing my strategy on scroll and I was starting to provide some liquidity. Thankfully, I was right. And what I have been doing since then is just providing some liquidity on ambient because we're earning some marks by doing so. And also ambient is token less. Then I have some funds into Ave, which I maybe 75 bucks. Nothing crazy. I've been doing it for a few months now. And I also started RU or RHO markets, which is also token less. So my goal here is to obviously get the R drop from scroll, but at the same time, hopefully I can receive an R drop from this one, from ambient, and I'm also providing a little bit of liquidity on sync swap. Now, for ambient, one thing you need to take into consideration is that if your range is tight, you're gonna be earning more marks. So how you do that? You go to the ambient si uh, site, which again, it is tokenless, but I'm not really expecting nothing huge out of this because I'm not providing something crazy like 10K, 50K of liquidity. So I'm not really earning that much points. You go to pool. Obviously you need to be on scroll. And then once you go to provide some liquidity, which I'm just providing ETH USDT and also ETH USDC and the amount that you want to provide. So if you're using 1k you need to have around 500 dollars worth of eth and then around 500 dollars worth of usdt or usdc or whatever token that you're using then you add the wrench but here's the trick instead of you having it something crazy like that go ahead and drop it down to maybe five percent because the tighter the better but don't go crazy with one percent because what would happen is that if you are at one percent and it goes down to maybe 3.3k or it goes up to 3.4K, you will be entirely, your position will be entirely in ETH or USDT. So you will need to recreate your pool or add your liquidity again in your pool. So it doesn't really make sense because you will need to be checking your um, liquidity every few hours. So for me, how I do it is that I'm usually sitting anywhere between 4% or 5%. So that is a pretty decent range or maybe even 3% if things are looking kind of stable. So then I can check it maybe every two days, every 24 hours. So at least I know that it is still working. And again, I'm still earning some marks and I'm also getting some ambient points by providing the liquidity. Another one that I'm using is again, SyncSwap. Nothing crazy. I don't have that much funds into it, but same analogy, same tactic, just providing some liquidity. Ave, nothing crazy. I just have 75 bucks, so it doesn't really matter. And the other one is Rue Markets, which I mentioned on the previous video, is this one. So I have two wallets that I'm providing or supplying some funds. 250 on this one, and the other one, I think it is 560, 575 dollars. So again, nothing huge because this is a new project which I don't really feel safe providing more than $500, but obviously it depends on you guys. If you want to provide more than that, go ahead and do it and play it at your own risk. So by supplying some funds, which can be ETH, Stone, USDC, USDT, so on and so forth, you're going to be getting some points every 10 minutes. The more points you get, the higher will be your rank and hopefully you can receive a higher airdrop. Now I still think it is kind of on the farm still, but most likely more people will join. They will be adding more funds into it. So if you're playing with 1K, anybody that comes with 20, 30K obviously will just pass you like it's nothing. But still providing some liquidity and hopefully I can make some profit out of this. So again, the goal is just getting the airdrop from scroll 
and hopefully making a few hundred dollars here and there for maybe this project, for maybe Ambient, for maybe SyncSwap, so I can also increase my total profit. So at the moment, this is the, the phase or the stage that we are in. Most likely, they will be adding more. So maybe in the future, we have something like trading so we can actually just burn more fees. So it doesn't really matter the amount of funds that we have available. But right now, if you're just starting, scroll and you have something like $100 or $200 to play with, uh, I would probably just move to something else. Now, if you have been using scroll since 2023 and you already have a pretty decent amount of marks and you maybe have a few hundred dollars, a few K that you're not planning to use, maybe sitting on Arbitrum, sitting on Optimism, go ahead and bridge it, add some liquidity, obviously at your own risk, S choose something that you like, maybe Ambient, maybe SyncSwap, maybe Rue, add some funds and try to increase your marks. But don't expect something crazy by just using a few hundred dollars. For me, I'm still using it because I already have a pretty decent amount of marks. I also have some funds that I'm not planning to use. So I just have it on scroll and call it a day. Whatever I get out of it, I'm cool with it. But again, this is probably not going to be a massive error drop just because the way that they're doing it, this is more of a Wells game, which I'm okay with it, right? Whoever got more, the, the biggest amount of money probably they're going to be receiving the biggest rewards. So I'm cool with it. So yeah, that's what we got. <laughs> probably uh, just let me know if there is anything else you guys think I should cover and scroll. But I think this is pretty self-explanatory. But yeah, just let me know if you have any questions, any doubts. Oh, by the way, some of these are still not showing the points. So for example, for room markets and sync swap and some of these they're not showing the points yet but most likely over the next week or so we should start seeing our points so yeah there you go guys thank you for watching take care bye bye